Hi. So in the last video, we saw how to implement singletons when there are two separate screens. Um, so it was fairly simple, and all we had to do is we uh, added a text box in the screen one, a function to set the value of the singleton in screen one, and a button to open screen two. In screen two, we had a button that gets the value from the singleton and prints it out. The problem was when the second screen is a part of the first screen. The value in the second screen is not automatically updated when we try to display it. So we'll try to cover that in this video. How to use state management with singletons in a Flutter application? All we need is two things. Who are we listening to? We define this and we call this as providers because they are providing us with the new value. The second thing is who is listening? Who is this value being consumed by? So in Flutter, we call this consumers. So now let's just go ahead and see the implementation of this. So I'll be adding code to the code we wrote in the previous video. And if you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and watch it right now. The link is in the description. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe because I'm coming up with a lot more videos this time. Okay, so to get started, we'll go to pub spec.yaml and we'll add this provider here. Now we'll open a model class and we'll extend this to change notifier because this needs to notify every time the value is changed. So how do we do that? So in our set function, we do notify listeners. Now every time the value is changed, it will notify to whoever is listening to this change. Now let's go and open screen two. And the first thing we'll do is we'll wrap the whole container in multi provider. And we'll set the providers in a list, whereas the child would be the same container we previously had. So here we'll do change notifier provider dot value and the value will be model class. Now we have a provider here. We've told Flutter that our model class will be providing us with new value. Now we need a consumer. So this text field is consuming the value. So what we need to do is we simply need to write a consumer that works on the model class. And this takes in a builder. The builder takes in context, the model and the child. The builder returns a widget, so we'll return our text widget here, and this time we'll write model dot value. This is the model. So now let's try out the code. So as you can see, the screen two is inside screen one and the current value is empty. If we were to add something here, let's say new value. And if we want to see the change, we do save data to singleton and the new value is automatically updated. And to show you all, we are just setting the value in screen one. We are not passing any kind of a value to screen two. So as you can see, it was very easy to implement state management in Flutter using singletons. All you needed was a change notifier, multi provider and a consumer widget. That is it. Do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos and you can find my Instagram link right here.